Welcome back for another three minute art history. I am Mead McLean and today's topic is Cory Archangel. Um, he's got a background in classical guitar and music technology. Um, and he brings something to the table that is outside of the artistic uh, realm and the normal artistic discussions. Um, he first gained notoriety um, with a piece called Super Mario Clouds, which is a hacked Nintendo cartridge with everything but the blue sky and slowly moving clouds removed. Uh, this would then be projected, um, usually taking up a whole wall or large format, um, depending on the installation situation. And it would be displayed with you know, the Nintendo and the cartridge visible plugged into a projector. One of his first galleries was Team Gallery, uh, which has historically been a source of uh, some excellent pushing art. At the time Friedman was coming up, Team was particularly interested in video art because they were then located in a fairly ugly basement with a lot of pipes on the walls. Um, they're not in; they weren't in the space uh, that they're in now, which is really quite amazing. Um, Another one of the uh, fun Nintendo hacked cartridges that he did was I Shot Andy Warhol, uh, in which the characters in Hogan's Alley were replaced with uh, Flavor Flav, pre-MTV fame, uh, Colonel Sanders, and Andy Warhol. You're supposed to just shoot the Andes. Typically, Archangel is lumped in with appropriation artists, a movement that emerged in the 80s, but he's really more of a technology-based investigator with an interest in using um, available technology to do exactly what it does in, in sort of a recursive fashion. So he's sort of bringing out the essence of each technology by elimination. Um, lately he's been doing a lot of pieces that use default Photoshop gradients, then printing them out as a unique C print, which is one of the more expensive printing methods. He also does randomly generated CNC wireform sculptures that are that are either powder coated or polished depending on the size and presented on the floor or a pedestal. He also makes shelves that are both rotating and static at the same time, meaning that the bars that hold them up rotate but the shelves stay in the same orientation. So what's all this mean? Let's discuss in terms of functionality. All of the devices that he uses to make work are functional in themselves or designed to make functional objects. The work uh, that he makes is distinctly non-functional and it makes use of the essence of the mechanics. So he's drawing attention to the way things are made, why they're made, uh, the arbitrary nature of the products that surround us, and the absurdity of the mass culture that we live in. That's been another three minutes of art history and I am Mead McLean.